Hello friends and fellow warriors in health. I'm Chip. This channel is CP59FIT, Unconventional Healthy Living Strategies. You can find a little red, white, and blue uh, icon over here in the corner if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed recently and I haven't thanked you yet, thank you very much. Uh, why do I call this channel Unconventional Healthy Living Strategies? Well, I guess that's a, a subtitle, or that's the title. The subtitle is Health Through... Uh, low-carb, healthy fat, which I've gone all the way to carnivore. I, I think my last video was about my big three that I had planned uh, on January 1st. You know, everybody makes a New Year's resolution. And for the past year and a half, I've been paying <laughs> quite a bit of money to take a course from an occupational psychologist. He has taught me maybe to make a goal that's... Uh, a little more meaningful to you so you can stick with it. So tonight, it's the 31st of January, or is it the 30th? I don't know. I think, maybe I'll have to look that up. I think it's the last day of January 2023. And as of tomorrow, whether it's the first or not, I plan to go into what this psychologist calls monk mode. Monk like a, a priest kind of monk. And, uh, yeah, kind of uh, the same philosophy as to why they become monks. To separate myself from all the chatter, all the news, all the social media, and concentrate on those three, big three. If you didn't watch the last video, I'll go over it, or you can, uh, I'll go over it, but you can still go back and watch it, because it, it's been, what, a month or more since I made it. But mainly the big three are to get rid of every, of each of the five aspects that qualify you or cause you to be diagnosed with metabolic syndrome. Let me see if I can remember them all. I only have one left, and that is uh, a waist circumference greater, greater than 40 inches for a man. For a woman, it's a different number. But men, we don't measure where our belt is. You know, that's the, the size on your pants, and in that, I'm under 40 inches but they measure across basically where your belly button is. So when I had my lifeline screening on January the 4th, I think it was, I was 42 inches. I have lost uh, several, maybe a dozen pounds. I don't know exactly. I've lost close to 20 pounds since I arrived here on December 21st. Oh, I'm in North Carolina, by the way. I'm Still on this two-month house sit. I think I have two weeks, approximately two weeks left. I think it'll be two weeks tomorrow. That means I've been here for six weeks. So yeah, 20 pounds in six weeks is not unheard of or outrageous. I'll try to get this a little bit closer to my mouth. Let's see. The other two that I had on January the 1st were triglycerides over 150 and HDL cholesterol under 40. Let's see, the other two are borderline high blood pressure and uh, I'm not sure what the fifth one is. I, I never really had it though. <laughs> I did have the three, almost four. I had the high triglycerides, the low HDL, the uh, circumference around your waist. And I was borderline high blood pressure two years ago. Now... Unless I'm at a doctor's office, my blood pressure is almost low. My triglycerides are down into the 150s, and they're probably lower than that now because I have been 100% carnivore, which means only eating animal-based products since January 1st. I've even cut out seed oils. And I guess I'm not truly 100%, 100% of the time because I did allow for some sauerkraut and onions and I'm finishing up a couple of items I have here. So I have a few pieces of sourdough bread left in the freezer. I ate some today uh, as the base on an Eggs Benedict. I have learned how to make Eggs Benedict down here. And boy, is it good. <laughs> I didn't, I tried it in the past and wasn't real successful. So I watched several YouTubes and it, so I, but I, sometimes I put it on pork chop. Sometimes I'll put it on a ham steak. Today I decided to use up a couple of pieces of the sourdough bread in the freezer. Since I only have two weeks left, I want to, and then I had a few mozzarella sticks left, which were breaded. So I ate those the other night with the last of my 10 pounds of chicken wings. 
But anyway, the only thing left in uh, big th three number one for 2023 is to still lose a little bit of my girth around the waist. And since I hit 205.2 today, 207.4 pounds was 50 pounds down off my peak, which I hit Sunday a week ago. So I've lost another 2.2 pounds in uh, nine days. Not too bad. I could do better, but I don't need to. And weight is not my primary goal this year, getting rid of the metabolic syndrome, all of the markers of the metabolic syndrome, because you have to have three of the five. And like I said, I can't even remember what the fifth one is right off the bat. But uh, I, I don't think I ever had it, or if I did, it was very briefly. You can go back and watch the other video. I think I talked about it then. Number two was uh, to monetize my YouTube channel and that's sort of kind of the main reason I'm going into monk mode. I've been down here six weeks. I plan to have at least six videos posted. I think I've posted one on each channel or maybe two on each channel in those six weeks. I need to get better at that. I need to concentrate. I need to cut out the distractions. And I need to do what I say I'm going to do. So at least for February and March, I won't be responding to anything on Facebook or Instagram. I will still be posting as I do train rides and I publish videos, but I'm not looking at anybody else's stuff and I'm not uh, responding to any comments. If you want to follow me and keep up, do it here on YouTube. There's comments you can write down below, and I appreciate it if you would. And boop that like button while you're down there. It's a little thumbs up. You can boop the thumbs down if you want. I don't care, but just do something down there so YouTube knows you're here and you're interact interacting with me on this channel. I do... Uh, I don't know if I'll get both channels monetized by the end of the year or not, but getting at least one. And I actually don't need to follow all the parameters in YouTube to get monetized. There are other things I can do because of my affiliation with the channel to get money not through YouTube and not through AdSense. I've been starting to watch my guru again that I've also, another one I've paid probably $1,000 or more to, to get me set up on YouTube or teach me how to do it. And they came up with a few good points in the video I watched today. Okay, number three, uh, and those two are very, the first two are very likely to be accomplished by the end of the year if I concentrate like I hope to do over the next two months. You know, most people that are very successful have kind of secluded themselves. In fact, a lot of, Bill Gates even goes away for a two-week uh, thinkcation every year. And I believe... Uh, Rupert Murdoch and uh, the guy with Berkshire Hathaway. <laughs> His name just went flying out of my head. Warren Buffett. I believe they take kind of retreats too. And why do I need to go on a retreat? I'm out here in the middle of the forest <laughs> with no friends within a 50-mile radius that I know of. I might have some. If you're in the Raleigh-Durham area, let me know. I'd like to catch up with you <laughs> whether I actually know you or not. But the number three is kind of an experiment. I did see a doctor post that this was possible. He had it. He actually documented it in one of his patients. But it's to get rid of the stenosis, the uh, fully occluded internal right carotid artery I have that is blocked by plaque. And, I under, and that's why I went 100% carnivore because this doctor in Arizona who does the carotid dopplers in his office had a patient that went from 99% blockage to 37% blockage in one year on the carnivore diet. I, he didn't give a lot of details in that post, and I haven't been able to get in touch with him, but I believe it's going to be more from cutting out seed oils, which is fried foods. <laughs> well, not fried foods, but they're fried in seed oils. If I could find tallow, tallow to fry in, I would. Uh, I just haven't been able to find. I found lard. There's a lot of lard around Texas, but I think it's processed too, but... You want to avoid the vegetable oils, and I'm avoiding them for the whole year, or at least as much as possible. Mayonnaise, a lot of the mayonnaise is made with soybean oil, which is one of the worst seed oils. But often when I make a tuna fish uh, salad kind of thing, or just mix up the tuna fish, I put some relish. That's another non-carnivore thing is you can have seasonings, you can have, and that's and spices. So that's generally what the sauerkraut, the onions, and the relish are. They're just kind of uh, compliments to, I usually put uh, maybe a boiled egg, a couple cans of tuna fish, and maybe a tablespoon of 
mayonnaise, which I wish I could find something. I might be able to replace it with a vanilla yogurt or something. Maybe I should look into that because I'm really, really trying to get rid of all the seed oils this year, which means I can't really eat anything that's not air fried. And the problem with air frying, like the mozzarella sticks, which I really like, they have the breading on them. I'm trying to avoid all non-animal products and all seed oils to clean up the blockage in this artery. And I believe that's possible. I may be a uh, anomaly. In fact, Dr. Westman, who I study a lot and I'm in a course with for three weeks now, somebody asked him if a keto diet cleared up stenosis on our Facebook Live private group call last night. He said he had heard some people mention that, but he didn't have any studies on it. And, of course, this doctor in Arizona said keto did clear up the man's other arteries. You know, the stenosis declined in the non-fully occluded ones on keto. But keto wasn't strong enough to open up the fully occluded one. But when he went carnivore, it was. And Dr. Westman kind of poo-poos on carnivore because it's really not studied. It's a subset of keto. And really the only thing that makes you... or Well, the purpose of a ketogenic diet is to get you into ketosis which means you're bur burning your fat instead of sugar. Of course, you have to burn through the sugar to start burning the fat. So if you're adding sugar and even or adding fat, you got to burn all that, or really just adding calories. You have to burn the calories before you get to your body fat. And that's one reason I did that three-day water-only fast uh, a couple weeks ago was to get all that intake burn off and the stored, uh, the stored sugar, what they call glycogen, is what the glucose converts into. And your body will make enough sugar for you to survive. We'll make enough glucose, which is pure. Well, we, we don't have a pure sugar in, in our diet, but glucose is pure energy for your body. And you can make it from protein. You can make it from fat. Well, I don't know if you can make it from fat, but your body can. A protein, I think, is what it's made from. But see, these bodybuilders are afraid to go into ketosis because they think the protein is going to come from their muscles. Let me tell you, you got plenty of protein on your body that ain't in a muscle to burn to make the little bit of glucose that you actually need. So that's kind of my January update is I have lost weight. I have gotten rid of two of the three uh, markers of the metabolic syndrome that I had left. I'm sure my waist has declined even more. Uh, YouTube, and I'm posting a YouTube video, so go, go see B59 Fit. I'm about to do a Facebook Live, either tonight or tomorrow, to explain this monk mode more, so you can find me on Facebook and Instagram, but don't expect a lot of response in the last, in the next two months, if you do join up, or follow me, or whatever it's called on there, friend me, I think, on Facebook, follow on Instagram. Uh, what do they call it here? Subscribe. They got a different word for each platform. So basically, moving forward from this video, which won't go up till tomorrow, so the, the live may, I may go live in the morning, I may go live tonight. I got a fire going because it's rainy and somewhat cold here, but no, not cold compared to how it was in Texas. I'm kind of glad I'm not still in Texas, but thank you for your time. Please hit that like button down below. Up, please. <laughs> I have probably gotten a few dislikes on this channel, but I prefer to get 100% likes. And then subscribe at the little red button down below or the red, white, and blue circle there. Thanks. God bless. I'll see you next week.